What is up YouTube? Today we are going to make this. I have honestly no idea what I'm going to call this thing. I know people um, take, it's really popular in like Russia, people take beer crates and make like little beer crate racers or beer cart racers. Um, I don't have a beer crate so I can't really do that. Um, I was thinking about making a cooler, a cooler cart racer, whatever. But I don't have a cooler that'll fit that the motor will fit into, and it'll fit on the outside. So I'm just gonna make this thing, and I have no idea what I'm gonna call it, and I have no idea what I'm gonna title this video. So I'm thinking about making it, uh, just calling it a uh, cart racer, because it's a cart and it's a racing cart. I don't know. So today we're gonna make this. Now I was thinking about. Like, how am I going to make this thing? I was, at first, thinking about using these tires for the back, but it just looks really goofy. And then I realized I have another set of these. Uh, um, these are actually riding mower front tires, believe it or not. Um, they're exactly the same size. Those are off an of older one. That's a newer one, and you can tell because these are more dirty. Um, so, yeah. I kind of wanted to use smaller tires, but I would have to go buy them, and I'm really trying not to spend too much money on this thing. Right now, I've figured it out, and I only have to spend around $100 on, to make this thing. I already had the motor, already had the tires, I already have the centrifugal clutch. Now, this centrifugal clutch on here, it's pretty beat up, and it's pretty worn, and I do have this one. I want to take this one. This is a pretty new one. Um, I want to take a... This one off of that motor and put it on that motor because that one's kind of that one's kind of worn out. Um, now the problem is, or the thing is, to make this thing, I'm gonna have to rob and steal parts off of old projects and other stuff. Um, you guys may remember that giant trike that I made. Um, I took a riding mower and made a giant trike. Yeah, I chopped that thing up a while ago, and here's all the scrap metal from that project. I also took apart that yellow scooter, and that, that's actually the motor from the yellow scooter. This is, a, this is a centrifugal clutch from the yellow scooter. This is part of the frame, and I ground the paint off of these. So um, the yellow scooter is no more. It, it's gone, and that giant trike that I made is, is no longer here. It's, it's gone. It's chopped up. So... And I got the motor off of the black go-kart. Um, the black go-kart, like I said in my update video, it ran, but the tires, it had a really big tire issue. The back tires just kept popping, the front tires just kept, the bearings kept going out. That thing was just not that great of a design. Um, I tried fixing it up, but it, the, it was fun for a little bit until the tires just kept on popping. So, screw it. So I took off the motor, and I'm going to use it for this thing. So, um, yeah, this thing is probably... I'm going to try and make this thing as small as possible. Why? Because, uh, I don't know. It, it, it looks really cool with big tires and just a really small, you know, racer thing with really big tires. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on this thing. Okay, a day and a half in... And this is pretty much all I've gotten done. Doesn't look like much, but uh, it's actually kind of a lot of work, considering I did ha I had to make these from scratch. So, um, so yeah, what I basically did was I made those, and then I welded it onto there. It's a foot across, and then welded these lower, um, and I made it so the tires can turn like that, and it won't hit rub up against the frame. So that's pretty much as hard as the tires can turn on this thing. So next step is to take these, weld them to there, just like that, only straight and level. So um, I did have a problem with uh, the back tires. This one is fine, this one holds air. This one, on the other hand, has this crack that runs all the way around the entire thing on both sides. And it's pretty bad on this side. So, 
when I pump this thing up, um, I sprayed WD-40 along this and all along the entire thing on both sides. You can just see bubbles just leaking out everywhere on this thing. So I did. I, uh, so I went to Tractor Supply, and they do have these tires. They don't have it to where this is a three-quarter inch. They do have it so it's a little bigger. It's like a seven eighths, but it's fifty bucks. So I, I don't really want to spend fifty bucks. So what I did was I bought this, fifteen by six by six, and I'm hoping that this will make it so where. Um, It'll actually work, and it won't just, you know. Hopefully, when if I do get this on, and it and I pump it up, hopefully it won't just split. And this crack will just split open. And hopefully that won't happen. So if if this works, great. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go to Tractor Supply and just buy a new one. The new one's like 50 bucks each. At Lowe's they're like 40. So I may go to Lowe's and buy buy it if this doesn't work. But that's if. So. Hopefully that works. Hopefully it'll save me a lot of money. That was ten dollars, so it was a lot cheaper. Uh, I did figure out the brakes. This is a uh, catalog of a uh, BMI carts and supplies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this drum brake, the same drum brake uh, that I got on my go kart. This is a six inch, and this is twenty dollars. And the band is also twenty dollars. So it's forty dollars, around fifty bucks including ship, you know, shipping and all that stuff. So $50 for the brakes. Hopefully I don't have to buy a $50 tire and that's pretty much it. And uh, so yeah, it's coming along. Okay, so I've gotten uh, half the frame done. I got the bottom half done. I, all I gotta do is the top half. I uh, am I'm expecting those brake parts soon so I can finish the uh, the rear end, weld that all together. You know, unfortunately, you know, because I am trying to make this thing cheaper and because I'm using these tires, I cannot use a one inch shaft. I want to, but I can't. So I gotta use a three quarter because these tires are designed for a three quarter shaft. A little bit bigger than a three quarter shaft, but all I really gotta do is put a sleeve in there weld it onto here and I am going to have to weld the uh, sprocket the brake and the uh, bearings and the wheels to the axle just to tie them all together I I could take my grinder and grind down a uh, a, um, a keyway on this axle but it would weaken the axle because it because it is only three quarters so I don't really want to do that just weld it on hope nothing breaks on it and you know then it should be good I am going to be putting a, a third bearing right right in the middle just to strengthen everything up because I really don't want this uh, this uh, axle to bend or break or anything and um, I still am having trouble with that tire like every morning I come down here that thing's flat so I don't know what it is I didn't pinch the inner tube so I don't know what it is I'm gonna take a bunch of that green goop stuff dump it in there and see if that fixes it or just kind of leave it because it, it, it you know it, it stays inflated for a good uh, for a good eight to ten hours so that's way longer than I'm going to be riding this thing so all I really got to do is just pump it up and I'm good so I'm just gonna leave that these tires are good that one's a little bald but whatever um, and the bummer is that uh because I'm trying to make this thing as small as possible, I really had to lower the frame. So really, there's only about a couple inches of clearance off the ground. So, yeah, this thing's probably going to bottom out if I go uh, off-road a little bit. So I'm, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to put a skid plate underneath this thing. I'm trying not to make this thing too heavy, but, um, but hey, whatever. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to call this thing. It's looking like an ATV, but I don't want to call it an ATV because it's too fast and it doesn't have any suspension on it. So I don't really know. I'm just gonna call this thing a uh, cart thing. I have no idea. You'll you'll see it in the title, and I'll figure something out when I upload this video. So this is probably the end of part one. Part two is gonna be more on the frame, finishing everything up, and welding the back axles. So. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and have a nice day.